use the source. Okay, I'm going to go over some basics of using the TI calculator to do matrices. Uh, so, if I clear my calculator out. So, we always start on this screen here. I have two sample problems to go through real quick here. Uh, this one involves three equations and three variables. And remember, we can just take the coefficients and put all these numbers into an augmented matrix. So, second matrix. And I'm going to edit my matrix. And the matrix is, well, it's going to have three rows and four columns. Right, a column for X, column for Y, column for Z, and a column for my constants. So three by four. And then just start putting in your constants. Uh, two, negative three, so make sure you use the negative key. Uh, one Z, and twelve. One X, one Y, negative, use the negative key, 10z, and negative 16. Now I notice there's no x's here, so it's 0x, negative 4y, 4z, and 8. So just input that matrix in. Then you quit, so second quit quits above the mode button, so I'll hit that. Okay, and the reason why is because you want to now go grab a command and put a command on the main screen. So we're going to go back into matrix, second matrix. We're going to do some math with our matrix. So arrow down to RREF, that's reduced row echelon form. Remember that means the same thing as Gauss Jordan. Hit enter, go back into matrix, so second matrix, and make sure the one you, you edited, 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 I can't say that word, uh, make sure it's highlighted, and hit enter, and hit enter again. And so now this one is in the X column, so that means X is equal to 5.125, Y is equal to 0.125, and Z is equal to 2.125. And there's our answer and our solutions for the system. Um, that would be doing Gauss-Jordan on the calculator. Okay. So now let's look at a little bit different situation. We have, uh, let's see here, a system, and they want us to use the inverse matrix. Okay. So remember, when you do this, these coefficients here need to go in matrix A, and then the constants are in matrix B. Okay, so we're going to edit those matrices. I'm going to go to second matrix. We're going to edit. I'm going to edit A. Now I want a 2 by 2. Again, a 2 by 2 because it's for my coefficients over here. Okay, so 2, negative 4, 3 and negative 8. All right, I'm going to go second matrix to get back here because I want to now edit B. And B is two rows by one column, which should be the constants. So 12 and 22. So I can now quit, second quit, which is on the mode button. And now I can do all sorts of things with those matrices. Let's say I wanted to know the inverse of A. Remember we called this A. So you could go second matrix, select A by hitting enter, and this button is the inverse button, and there's A inverse. Or if I wanted to solve it, remember you solve it by taking A inverse times the B matrix. So let's do that. Second matrix. Grab A here. Use the inverse button. Times. Let's go grab matrix B. 
So now this is A inverse B. Remember, that's how to algebraically solve a matrix, uh, matrix equation. Enter. There's your solution. So according to this, uh, remember, X is on top, Y is on the bottom. So X is 2, Y is negative 2. Okay. So that's how you could do this if you wanted to use inverse matrices. We saw up above how you could do Gauss-Jordan. Um, you could do a lot of different things uh, with matrices, and a lot of that is just editing the matrix, and then lots of different commands uh, here in the math menu under matrix. But the two that we use are the RREF and using this inverse key here to find the inverse of a matrix.